Hey Pete, this is Mark Stepp. Uh, thanks for your email and the little recording as far as the, the question. And um, one of the things that I've got already in the system is a 90 day touch point, very similar to what you're asking for. You can just click on the little plus, go to add workflows from the library and scroll all the way down here to the bottom where there's a section here for uh, Realvolve's 90 day touch point. Now you can click on that, come down here, click on install package. If you've not already got it installed, click on that. And, and what it will do is it will install this little workflow. Now, I know you said you didn't want to use or create a complicated workflow and, and it's not complicated at all, but um, just kind of a, a resource here that may let you do what you want to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 90 day one, just kind of go through this and make your 30 day one. So I'm going to click on this little copy button and give it a new name called uh, 30 day touch point and say create copy. So on this particular one, it only has um, one thing on there. So I'm just gonna say every 30 days, this particular activity, actually it's showing in here that it does have two activities. This one's maybe I've deleted something since then, so maybe it does have two. But um, if you view the activities, there's really only one that you really need, which is the make uh, make the call option. Now I'm going to edit this and we're going to rename this to be um, uh, make 30 day calls to and then the person's name, John Smith, Mary Doe, whoever you're calling. Um, it is assigned to whoever the record owner is of that record. The pick interested parties is whoever the workflow contact is. And the win here is what we need to, to look at. So you really, based off of your comment, you wanted to have it every 30 days after the last call date. So if I call them on the 18th, I don't want to call them again until the next 18th. I may have scheduled it first on the, on the, the first of the month or whatever. And then if at some point it went through and, and I didn't call them at that point, well, it would just keep reminding me until I did it. But then if I call them on that next day and I put in the last call date, then it's going to recalculate it. So um, you could set up a certain date and time. Some people just say, you know, I, I want to create all my phone calls at one o'clock PM or you know, whatever. I've got it set up for the eight to nine range. Uh, it is a call and then I'm just going to go ahead and click on update. So what this is, is a single activity. Again, the install might have two and I, you might just get rid of the other one. I'm not sure that you actually need it, but this is a, a very simple one that's in there. So let's just, for instance, let's go into a, a contact here. So here's Jonathan and let's say I want to, um, start this 30 day calling piece with him. So I just type in 30 for 30 day touch point. Um, click on next. Who's going to do it? It'll default to whoever the record owner is. You can change that if, if you wanted to. And then say, well, who's, uh, what, what's the last call date? Now I was testing this earlier. So the last call date I had set for March 1st, just for testing purposes. Let's, but let's just say that today, uh, the 26th, uh, was the day that I called them. Well, I put in the 26th there, I click on done. And um, by putting that 26th date on there, it automatically updates the last call date to be the 26th. So if I was to go and look at the activities, then it's going to come up and say, well, on March 29th, which is 30 days from this since February is, is short days, uh, it's going to be a reminder to give Jonathan a call. Now, let's fast forward to March 28th. This activity would show on your dashboard and also on your calendar or whatever. And then you could just go in there. Actually, I guess, let me just go ahead and go to March 28th. Let's just assume that um, today is the 28th. So let me go March 28th. Okay, so here's the 28th. And it would come up on your dashboard, it comes up on your calendar, whatever. It's, it's a reminder, hey, I need to call Jonathan. Well, like you said, Jonathan's on vacation for a while, and I'm not going to get to him uh, for a little bit. And I just let it sit, and I wait and wait, or 
maybe I want to uh, simply edit this and say, well, I, I want to give them a call on, you know, such and such a, a date. I can do that. Or um, if if it is the the 28th and I am going to call him, I give him a call, I go to complete this, you'll see that based off of this activity, having a section for notes. So I could type in some notes, a uh, quick call about um, blah, you know, whatever. And then when did I last call them? Well, I called them assuming that it is the 28th of March. I'll just update that. Hit save and close. Well, what that does then, and it takes just a, a second to, to update, I believe, uh, it changes that activity. Now, I it'll, it'll change it for 30 days from that time. So here, I'm supposed to call Jonathan the next month. If I go to Jonathan's record, uh, if I you know, click on his name here, I can see that I'm supposed to call him again in April 27th, which was 30 days from the day that I called him. Um, here's that quick note or whatever, which tells me when I did call them. Now, technically, uh, today's the 26th, so it put today's date on there versus the 28th of March, which would have been the date had I actually called them on that date. And if I go and look at the last call date it's set for march 28th as well so it's always calculating the next activity based off of this date if for some reason i can't do it i can just come in here and say well i let's put it at uh 30 days from the 20th okay whenever i change that if i go to my activities it'll change to 30 days from the 20th which is the 19th so your date changes based off of whatever the date of that that activity is the nice thing about this is you only set it up one time you don't really ever complete the activity um, you you can go check it off as long as you don't check off these two items you just changing this date it just constantly goes to the next 30 days so works real well doing that um, hope this helps explain an option there. If you don't like that option, I've got one more, but really this is, I feel like the better, I, I do this on a lot of different people and it works real well. So um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Have a great day. Thanks.